Oh my goodness. Sorry. Greetings. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Welcome <Yeah>. to Tuesday, <laughs> June 11th. I couldn't find my glasses. Tuesday, June 11th. And uh, yeah, we have another completely uneventful show for all of you to listen to. Oh. Come on. Uh, as we're sitting here talking, I don't know how we get into stern related conversations outside of being in the show. I don't even know why we do that. Um, why? Why do we do that? Why? But Benjamin, you just made me chuckle while we were sitting here talking. It start. <laughs> he started with tonight. Instead of stern talk, we'll having a watch party. Tonight's film is 1915 <laughs> classic. Mabel, Daddy, and the Law. <laughs> we just did that instead. Continues with it stars everyone. <laughs> Everyone chubby's, everyone's chubby murderer, Fatty Arbuckle. You know what? Is there any other human beings in on the planet that are today, today on June 11th, 2024, talking about Fatty Arbuckle? No, nope, just us. I, wait, wait, wait. You know what's even funnier? Because there's many people talking about Fatty Arbuckle as there are Howard Stern. So, win-win right. for us. We're win-win, win, baby. <laughs> we win. So you might have heard. Uh, during the uh, Howard Stern podcast today, you might have heard that our favorite, our favorite whack packer, or queen of all whack packers, uh, yes. that Stern was supposed to be an actress. What do you got there? Some Maker's Mark? What's going on? Uh, yes, I have a Maker's Mark cask strength, 109 Cas proof. That's 109 proof. 109 proof. Smooth. 109 proof. 109 that proof. means it's over 50% alcohol. Ooh. Yes, and it's delicious. And what do you get with it? With your balls, with your ice balls? Just my ice ball. Mm -hmm. Just an ice ball. Because something like that, you, you something like these, you don't you don't screw around with. You just you 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 want to savor. You drink it. You drink it. Should actually do it neat, but I want a little bit chilled. It, it was it was ninety something today. Enjoy it. So is it still raining by you? Or are you good? Nope, completely. Um, so, uh, it's completely. Well, it would be sunny if the sun was still up. Yeah, I got I got a half inch rain. That's it. Everywhere else got like inches. I got a half inch. I got inches. Yeah, I got inches. I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure that the entirety of the street is flooded right now and nobody can get past. But my I'm lawn's not still brown. It's okay. My I'm lawn is still there. brown. I don't care. I'm not there. I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, our favorite actress is uh was looking at a role apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the flow with this discussion and um and yeah that's how we went thank you ida for liking my t-shirt this is a keith herring t-shirt um my favorite Ooh. keith herring story is the fact that when i used to be in fit and uh, one day i was coming home, i used to see all these little babies like scribbled everywhere on like stickers and so you knew keith was like this kind of trending thing and one time i I brought a razor with me from class, like a, you know, sewing class or something. I'm like, you know, I'm going to get one of those fucking herrings if it kills me. So I go to get the train and I'm standing there and I see this really big one on like an advertisement for like some movie or something, just hand spray painted on there. I'm like, God damn it, I'm going to get that. And I start scratching it out, scratching it out. All of a sudden, literally behind me is a cop like standing right here. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> And, you know, of course, you know, the lamest excuse in the whole world. I'm like, officer, it was just really, really cute. And and my father works for Transit Authority. And so um, he's like, that, that gives you a right to do this. He's like, move along, move along. And then I never got it. And it kills me. Uh, you just left a few thousand dollars on the table. Kills me. Kills me. Dead. 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 All right. So let's start this stupid shit show. Yes, let's please. Of that purport. You know what? It went by really quickly because there was nothing to listen to. And I'll tell you why. Because I started at nine. You only wish you could have started at nine. And I just went. All right. Zhut, so zhut, I'll right. tell you that well, at one point in the show, I actually stated, I wish I could fast forward real life. I saw that. I saw because that. Because good, good God. It went fast because I started doing other things. I was organizing stuff. I was, you know, because I just came back. I actually was organizing parts I have. And I was, you know, opening up boxes and doing things for, you know, after the drive. And just passing time. Because, yeah. Yeah. All about the tendrils. That was another time when I jumped the turnstile. That was uh, that was another time I got pulled. I, well, I mean, cops don't give girls tickets. 
No, they no they don't. Eighteen year old girl, white girls tickets. Let's be honest. let's be let's be honest. They just don't. Yeah, but I I threw the father works for the transit authority thing, pretty much every every time I. <laughs> Mo also lost money on Andy Warhol's signature. No, I didn't lose money. I can't find it. Remember, it's, I, it's lost still lost money then at that point. It is lost money. Whatever. Hey, you I know. Was- but uh, speaking of police and uh, girl interactions. You know, if you're a young girl lo- going through security in Sicily, prepare to be groped 100%. I will absolutely tell you that that is a truism. That's true as uh, me, baby. <laughs> and I'll tell you where you get groped because, well, here's the tell thing. Us. Before they made them um, have female attendants check you for in the United States. It was oh, okay. bad. Yeah, in the United States. This is this is Italy. They don't have that. They don't give a shit. Yeah, they, they don't, don't care. They're just gonna they're just gonna pat you down and well, uh, something like that. <laughs> well, yeah, something like that. But you know what? They, you listen. I, how'd we get here? Where are we? Ah, I don't know. We, so about, we went into the whole police uh, that we because the show's so boring. I was looking for something interesting to talk about. <laughs> Can we just do a show on Godzilla minus one right now? Just oh my god, yes. Oh, so we've all seen it now. Can we oh, talk about that movie? Yeah. It's a great I movie. movie. I really want to talk about it when we're done with this show. But first, let's talk about the other monster in the room, <laughs> Beth Stern, and how she was apparently offered a movie role. That I guess did not come to fruition for reasons unknown, right? But let's uh, let's let's hear about it, and we'll come back to it a couple of times. Obviously, <laughs> hi oh, hi oh, love hi oh, hi oh. Ten soldiers and Nixon coming, four dead and hi oh, hi oh. Wow, really riffed there. Hi oh, hi oh. Yeah, I was kind of excited um, the other day, like two days ago. My, well, not two days ago, but I don't know when Friday or Thursday. My, my wife got offered a movie role. Really? She's not. She's. Not- Let's look at the timeline. So Thursday. She was offered a movie role. Today's Tuesday. Okay, so let's just 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 look at this. Is just a long weekend of 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 offer to the discussion today. Okay. Not yeah. yesterday. Today we're discussing it. Not she doesn't consider herself an actress. When she when she worked. No, she's not an actress. My wife got offered a movie role. Really? She's not she's not she doesn't consider herself an actress. When she when she worked, she did do a lot of TV commercials, but she's not an actress. <laughs> she did one. She goes, I don't know, but people seem to think I am. And people. So she she said people. to me, "What do you think? You think I should do this?" I said, I mean, yeah, that'll be cool. Do it. She goes, I'm shocked that you would think that I should do this. Um, I thought you'd say, don't do it. I said, I don't know. I, w- I would like you to go be in a movie, and then I would go to the premiere. I would like, I'd like to go to a premiere. Oh, you really would? Yeah, I just had this fantasy where I would show up. And- oh, you're so cute. You had a fantasy that a she fantasy. was the earner, and you weren't, and that the red carpet was for her. Yes. And not for you because she's actually then done something significant and substantial. This also plays into his pretty women, pretty woman fantasy because he's a pretty woman. Yes. And and he he just wants, he wants to be able to be, you know, yes, supported. Yes. Maybe even show up to the set and uh, we could uh, have sexual relations in the trailer like so many actors do. Like you did in a private party. Out on uh, the forum today, it's like okay, because Beth's part would have necessitated a trailer for her with her name on it. Like, well, yeah, you, that's how they transport horses, though. You have to put them in a trailer, otherwise, they hold this big hole inside. Yeah, usually, and their ass is hanging out. out. Yeah. Or, or they sometimes, sometimes they push their little noses out just to get some fresh air. Announce that. So now, if you ever do, if this all comes to pass. You're there to have sex yeah. with your oh, wife in the middle absolutely. of the day. Oh, yeah. That's the story. If I, if I show up on a movie set, I'm having sex. Yeah, okay. Like you did on private parts. Sure. <laughs> so, you know what? I, I have to tell you, today's show was really so awful. Wait, wait. I'm not great. Go ahead, baby. I, you know, maybe I was wondering what movie it could have been. That I was like, I didn't think they're going to redo the, the movie about Secretariat. I mean, 
That joke is literally today old already. I mean, everybody in the comment section has already done a secretariat joke. And Darn, I, I, just, okay. I didn't see it. But it's okay. Also, she was in one commercial. What the hell is he talking about? No, I think it was in two MasterCard commercials. No, she, what, listen, man. And, and and to be fair, I would know if there was more than one commercial out there. To be <laughs> fair, we no. wouldn't know that there was more than one commercial out there. Right? Oh, we would know. She wasn't well, on yeah. radar yet. Biscuit too. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you Waterloo. know what? There's no way. If people can find her on Detective Magazine, <laughs> the reckoning, people would have found her. <laughs> the <right>. reckoning. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry, so <laughs> they got they got they got they got into what, what was she? One of the Budweiser frogs, man. <laughs> conversation. It did wise. I don't know yeah, where, yeah. We, where we are with it. I challenge anybody to find anything other than that master. Hey, we card. wish, we wish, we wish. No, it'd be great. It would be great. I, I, I only know I about was... that because he was dating her at that point, and then it was mentioned, and we were like, "Oh, that must be Beth. That's Beth. But, that's wait, Beth. it did. It wasn't a movie before, though. Uh, was it some, for disaster? Um, flirting uh, with disaster. Flirting with disaster. She, she and was it acted... in that one. That one like Scene. FX show or. She was uh, the Russian broad th that's supposed to be dating the, the normal dude. Mm -hmm. And she and she's a gold digger in that. And then she mm -hmm. did the one where the dude's a gambler and he gives her a foot massage. Well, she mm -hmm. gives him a foot massage at the craps table. It's like she's been literally like in a handful of stuff, all of them just complete garbage. Wait, what is this that uh Beth is in a music video for train called Rescue Dogs? What cool. She, is she really? I mean, I would love to see I, that. I'm on her IMDb right now, just trying to check out. Can we find this and have the sound off so it does show, show doesn't get taken oh, down? Oh, okay. Well, let's find. We'll definitely find let's that. Let's find this because this is okay. Yeah. Let's give us a moment. Give us a moment. Let me just let's see it out here. All right. Let's go. Let's go look. Train rescue dogs. Let's see. Go to the YouTube. Rescue dogs. Wait. Wait. What? Oh my god, I think uh, it's there. There it is. Uh, <laughs> that's an IMDb. Like America has been saving the lives of defenseless dogs. Why is this shot in portrait? <laughs> over one million animals. This is what she does. Together with Train. Holy crap. Shining a light on the importance of animal rescue with their new song. Look at that poor cat. Oh dear Christ. Yeah, beauty, man. Oh my god. Funny that she doesn't know how to film something in landscape. Well, she doesn't. It just drives me insane. Oh my god. That, this is, too. that looks so stupid at the beginning of the video. It looks so that stupid. Is stupid. <laughs> oh, 113,000 oh. views from 4 years ago. How can you be so Oh, there's a cat outside. Oh, sorry. Uh Jesus Christ. That is like I mean, that is like the chick that from the Baby's Got Back, the Oh My God, Becky, putting that on her IMDb. And there's no comment section here. Damn it. Ah. Oh, we're not allowed to comment? I guess Give not. it a downvote. Downvote it. Okay. Downvote it. Downvote Go it. Go Done. <laughs> How do you do this? This is, see, she phones it in too. She doesn't give a shit. She's, she's just as ridiculously dickish as he is. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, love, hunger, betrayal. What? Uh, let's see. Dorothy? Let's see what this is. <laughs> what the hell is this piece of garbage? What? What, <laughs> what is this? Let's look at the cast. Oh, oh, I thought dear. that was Pauly Shore. No, then Pauly Shore is, not, is too good for this. There she is. is a single person I've heard of here. <laughs> yeah, Who? well. Clem Jr. Um, I don't know what this is. Let's check though. Can gonna find, find out. This? Find out. Gonna find out. Oh, oh shoot! I, mean, it's, I have this all hooked up for us. All right, hang on a second. I love Hunger, Betrayal, Forgiveness. Is a movie. Uh, it's a movie. <laughs> oh, shot on VHS. Uh, whole movie is on. Uh... Can we have a watch along over the summer? Because sure. I bet you she's in like. 
two seconds worth of movie. Let's take a look. See, uh, let's see. Fifty six subscribers for this person, JC. Two hundred eighty one views. Let's see. Let's see if this. Wow, this is shot here. poorly. Is that beef? No. No. No, that's not beef. No. Is that beef? Is that beef? No. Is that beef? Typing. It can't be beef. Is that beef? Typing? Processing? Processing? No. Wow, this is like a student film. Oh, yeah. at, at best, a student film. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going. Let's see where our beef is. This is funny because we we have we have research that imdb at length i know xavier has I and have. that has never been on it right i mean this, mm -hmm. is not, yep. this is not something we know about maybe she played the couch who <laughs> had the furniture is that, what? Is that it no is that no. one of the stern daughters <laughs> oh uh, let's get going no bimbos yet. No. i guarantee you she played the couch no bimbos no i better play it did it play a hooker not her. You know, this looks like Trail Park Boys. Seriously, I think Trail no, Park Boys. No, don't insult Trail Park, Park Boys. They're funnier. More production values than this does. This is like something from Funny or Die. But worse. But somehow, magically, much is more. That, is that Beth? No. There you go. There's Beth. There's Beth. There's Beth. No. No. Maybe she played no. the motorcycle. Maybe she's like dead body number seven. Okay, I don't see her in this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it pull a credit for no apparent reason? Could be. She's like, nobody oh, will ever check. People think she's an actress, though, you know. Just so you know. They think they think it's an actress? I guess people think that I'm an actress and, you know, like... Um, okay, well, there we go. There's the whole... Jenny, wow. Um, I bet you her part is literally, like, two seconds. She played the door. Yeah, she played walking down the street. She She was caught on the film as she was walking around the corner and they made yes. her sign a, uh, yeah, she's <laughs> Oh my God. That's exactly. Right. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think it's just they, on the street her neighborhood. They made her sign a release and, uh, and then it put it on his resume as res I have to do this with my publicist. Uh, that's my husband. She okay. played the umbrella. You know, I, I, I mean, it's my ah, there, she is. there it is. Oh, we're playing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you serious? Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yes. Oh we're doing it. Can you believe that? That is too much. I heard you on NPR oh, yesterday. Can you? Oh, my God. Your new book. <laughs> this is horrible. It's great. I oh, my God. It, the oh. acting is perfect for Beefus. <laughs> and, of course, she did this because it was literally like a block from her. So it's convenient. Here we go. There it is, wishing it had a child. Like, I feel like we're uh, going to uncharted territory. <laughs> you will never guess who I saw today. I don't know. Wow, that was almost realistic. Ready? This is 2020, by the way. The kid's the best actor in the scene. Hungry? You hungry? Are you hungry? It does pause. Oh my god. It's like Kong picking up Fay Ray. I mean it's <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Wow. <laughs> Meryl Streep, eat your heart out. People think I'm an actress. I guarantee you that's the kind of role she was offered. Did you see did you one see million the... percent that was she was offered again? I love that. And we will use that for good and not evil in the future. Do you did you see that? Yeah, Miss Beaver Alden. I think she's supposed I, to be the mommy. Yeah, she's the mommy. When when the guy walks in and he's supposed to kiss her, and like literally it turned its head and he ended up like kissing like almost by its ear. She has the sex appeal of a tape measure. Seriously, she's just she's just the worst. She is the worst. <laughs> All right, I'm just, we found that. So let's uh let's that put that right. on our bookmark. So that we can watch it in the future because she is an actress. So there's that. Oh, it's an actor. That, that'll be on Reddit tomorrow and they'll take credit for it. Yes, of course. Oh, they absolutely. Do. They always do. All right. So I don't know where this came from. So this is just super random. Okay. But it's, 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 it's random. Uh, it's Robin. So let's go with it. Yes. I, I don't even know how the conversation started because, you know, I was fast forwarding at this point and it's only like 715. 
I just read a new term. It's called polyamorous. Uh, Topolamony or something oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, that's yeah, called Fred. Is. Fred is a topolamist. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, in a situation where uh, one partner knows that the other partner is cheating and tacitly approves of it, even though they don't like it. <laughs> and they oh, said sure. that's most non monogamy marriage. So, in various ways what the hell she, is she talking about we don't know <laughs> I still don't know we don't know i have no idea we don't know but the I, but I technology is something i don't even understand and it's mathematics and it has nothing to do with what she's talking about and there is absolutely nothing even remotely related to demography trying to say <laughs> and it, it, it makes no sense but that's, that's maybe she was talking about topo gigio topo gigio actually that's exactly right. It's about sex with mice. But that's for another <laughs> Sure. Why not? Um, oh, yeah. Topo. Yeah. That's the bro, time. they're not even that's trying the anymore, man. They're not trying. They're not trying. Um, so then they got into a conversation about a shrink. And I'm not necessarily sure why. Go to 1940. Is Oh, there's a bar scene. Uh, now you tell me. Damn it. Oh, Melody. Oh, fine. Bastard. You go back. Okay, where am I going to? Where is it? 19 minutes and 40 seconds. At the 19 minute and 40 second mark. Oh, you were, we are there. Full, my friend. Bush full, burger, frontal, full frontal teeth. Furbage. 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 If she is around, she drives me crazy. Is we, we can't see it just you know. No, we can't see anything. We always can just hear it. Hello, Frank. Hello, Ollie. <laughs> tonight. I've got a special on the Look at that shiny forehead. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can see the lighting. It's like fucking wow. A laser on her forehead. Wow. They, they didn't have any powder Who's to put on that. Thing? On this? It's like a shot, do it. Oh, you know what I'll drink? Well, that's right. You're just a professional man. <laughs> with, with the titty bra. Oh, it's got that's adding like you Monsoon will be punching the monitor right now. Oh, dear God. Okay. Oh, look. I, no, no, there it is. Let's get you, Dorothy. Yeah, that's got some money. Good thing your father is the, the sound on this, the sound quality is horrible. Jeez. Don't worry, we're not missing anything. <sighs> and he winds up marrying her. See? See the way sure, she Of course, why not? The marrying it's, them? The, it's the worst bartender ever. <laughs> that loser gave him chil her children. Mm. What the hell are we watching? Really, really bad cinema. Oh, did you even did you even study her opening? This line? is like one take, Charlie. I guarantee it. Did you study her opening line for this? I, I can't no. even get the volume any any louder for you. Just so you know. Listen to listen to her. Impossible to get a drink halfway. Impossible. What's yeah. wrong with you? So Are you in love with her or something? Out of the way. <laughs> Just know that I think about her constantly when she's not around. This is horrible. She must know she him from around, a former life. She must have begged her to be in it. In good and bad ways. Maybe he was a good client. No. Allegedly. Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy is her name. Hello, Frank. Hello, Ollie. So, what are you boys drinking tonight? I've got a special on the peppermint schnapps dollar shot. Oh, how horrible. Wow, it read that line so naturally. She literally, they told her like one minute before that what to say. 30 oh, seconds Frank. before. Hello, Ollie. Hey, hello, Frank. Hello, Lou. Hello, Ollie. <laughs> say it with less emotion next time, please. Yeah. Uh, I love the shiny oh, forehead, though. The shine. I mean, that she, looks like the moon. She literally has only one inflection. It's like annoyed cu restaurant customer. Yes. <laughs> annoyed twat. It's, it's, yeah, it's like yeah exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like where truth is on she its shirt. Yeah. She uh, that was awful. Honestly, that's just. Uh, it's an actress. 
Can you please look up who J.C. Hopkins? I have to save this. Let me save this so that I please can't forget. Please. I have a I have a schnapps, but then I took an <laughs> antifungal and it went away. <laughs> She's that's like literally just four years ago. I mean, just think about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the truth is, she can't act. That's exactly right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's always the same inflection. The every, every, we just do a montage and it's like the exact same. Oh my God. That's just horrible and delicious all at the same time. So thank yes. you. That she, your sound, she always sounds like a rooster that forgot the words. Hello, Frank. Hello, Allie. Oh, I got a special tonight. Yeah. Schnapps. On schnapps. Snapper. Nobody ever has a special on schnapps. Kevin schnapps. Everyone has a special on schnapps. That's just not the way the life works. A dollar a shot. So, yeah. You think the director said, you know what? Film is expensive. Whatever. <laughs> Take, Benjamin, move on. Benjamin puts it perfectly. Plan 9 from Outer Space is Shakespeare compared to that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> that is true. I am. You know, it hurt. It's always makeup and grunting. Yeah. So glad we found that. Just really, bro. And no one thought of like shine, like like pow, you know, like putting a little powder even, on her forehead, bro. Even if it was like a student film, you would do your own makeup if you had to, and everybody right. knows. Well, the DP, what you do is you have the, the person standing there in the shot before you start filming, and you okay, well, you know, we need to adjust this light. We need to, you know, put a little powder on her forehead. Something. It's totally one take, Charlie. You really I guarantee that was part. probably on an iPhone. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Look up who that JC whoever is so that we can. Uh, do we really have to? No, not us, but somebody else. Oh, somebody. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Monsoon would have a field day with that. Well, then I think it is somebody's uh, Xavier's uh, responsibility to post that for us. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. So, uh, Robin starts to ask him about going to his shrink. I guess a caller called in asking about his shrink. And sure they did. Yeah. Sure I mean, they did. Uh -huh. really I mean, of course he lies because that's what he does. Here we go. Yeah. Do you that's even biggest... see other clients when you happen to trip into the door? Yeah, uh, yeah I have. I think I have. <laughs> You know, I've seen people leave, but it's a, it, it, he's got more. Oh, my God. What about Al? You are a thousand percent correct. We should remake that scene on Gunk. We should do that. Dennis, next time yes. I'll Florida, we'll film it on a bar. Oh, oh, look oh my here. God. I have That'd a be perfect. That would be special, really perfect. I have a special on schnapps. <laughs> we'll do it in black and white and portrait please, mode. Oh, please. Multi office. Oh, please. <laughs> okay, wait. So now Beth is, uh, Beth, uh, Robin is asking him if he ever sees any other uh, patients when he's going. To uh, yeah, I have. I think I have. You know, I I've seen it. people leave, but it's a, it, it, he's got multi office. In other words, he's oh, more than one okay. psychiatrist. Yeah, so okay. I don't know who's there. So for they you. don't have to be his patients. Yeah, there's a guy there that I see leave a lot. And I don't know if you know. I have fantasies that either he's a patient or he's fantasies. maybe a, a training yeah. student right. in psychiatry or something. I don't know. You're so stupid and so cute. So you've been in psychiatry. You've been going to the shrink for over 20 years. If you don't know by now that that guy is either a patient or in training, as you say, or or you're just lying. Yes, right. yes finger. Yes, finger. So, first of all, <laughs> this is a hundred percent lie because we know that Zumba always just either used to use phone calls or now he zooms in with his psychiatrist because I don't think his psychiatrist is in Florida, and he zooms in. It's all zoomy. It's all Where zoom. Is and besides that, there is a absolute specific qualifier for your shrink where there is never anybody else waiting mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. waiting room. There's just, there's just, Correct. I think when I was in therapy for two years, if I saw one person one time, it was a lot. Did they run away from you too? Yes, they did. So fantasize all you want, Howard, you stupid shit. But you're a liar. And I don't even know that he goes to my psychiatrist, but. But I don't know. So he goes on about how, you know, he he doesn't know the answer to to being out of therapy. And, of course, uh, Robin says the absolute truth to him, which is this. I, I think psychiatry but, is a know, noble profession. Would the real test be the cure? <laughs> well, you know, what is a cure? I mean, I'm so fuck. I Well, I, for you. This morning, this morning uh, I got I got up early I, and I was like. 
I even resorted to praying to God, and I'm pretty sure there isn't one, but I just said, God, can you take away my OCD? Can you just please free me of this curse? And uh, I got no answer. Okay. So let me comment on this because they, um, Mike um, Perlman, right? Before this, or was it after this? Sometime, but before this, Perlman. If, we're on, if I'm only on clip four, that means we're still in. This. All right. Well, whatever. But later on, per Perlman ha show, it was not there for the mic check. Okay. Which okay. was, he got there like at the show start. And Howard didn't know that. So Howard was not on when they were doing mic checks or anything. He wasn't. He wasn't in studio yet because they started late today. So he, first of all, he's lying about waking up early. Second of all, OCD equals homosexuality. That that's literally what the Sarno the Sarno thing's all about. It, it literally it, it, it is not about back pain. But didn't Sarno cure his uh his back pain? His and, homosexuality and his OCD. <laughs> He doesn't Do you think he really wants to be cured though from that? I don't think he wants to be cured. I don't think he does. I don't think he wants to be cured of that. I don't know. I think he like Ralph, who has been helped by Doctor Sarno. I seriously, I don't know a single human being who has ever been helped no. by that. Because you know what? How many people read that book and thought, "Oh, my back pain. Fuck it. I don't have a slip disc. I don't have like nerve damage. Yeah, yeah exactly. let me just like hang upside down in my doorway and and hope for that." Like <laughs> and a bat. Fucking <laughs> traction, looking like the elephant man, like yesterday's clip. Which, which surprisingly, I didn't get in trouble for, but the show got taken down because of Family Guy. Yeah, yeah. go figure. Yeah. Nobody cared about the Elephant Man, just the Family Guy. So, of course, he was praying to God this morning. Apparently, God just seems to be very important in his life today. Uh, here's what I would like God to do. Okay, I would like God to make me a young man again and give me guitar lessons to see how good I in heaven. Play. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. You're going to be up there with Eric Clapton and that's right. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, I am hung up. I told Jimmy you this Hendrix. yesterday. <laughs> I'm hung up. I'm, I'm an old man at this point and I'm, and I'm taking guitar lessons for the first time. No, you're no, not. You're not. You realize you're not. I could practicing. And so again, I had so much free time as a kid. I, I was forced and to be alone a lot. they told you to practice. Lies, all lies. I all mean, lies. You are intellectually incurious and you have no artistic talent whatsoever. You had no interest when you were a kid. None. Everybody that's in this chat, everybody who listens to us, anybody here who plays guitar and does it decently well, just picked it up. Just picked it up and decided, you know, this is something I really want to do. And they figured it out. And you were just a lazy puppet making freak nerd asshole kid who everybody Moron. did and and you deserve to get the shit kicked out of you by the polish kids it wasn't the black kids you deserve to get the shit kicked out of you as you diddled yourself and tried to touch your friend's penis idiot <laughs> what allegedly let's go so the other part of that is that blobbin thinks eric clapton's dead <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part like, she's thinking of the song here in heaven she doesn't know yeah. <laughs> she, she can't reconcile that doesn't just... really mean I'm dead and I'm just thinking <laughs> that I mean, oh my god I mean she is she is literally completely brain dead at this point I, I mean it, there are thoughts there are words coming out of her mouth and there are no thoughts behind it it's just it's just word salad it's great or vomit and I'm here for it I'm here for it um, so then a caller calls in with a question that absolutely nobody cares about, nor would ever ask. And yes. you you will know what this is. Contact him for us. Go ahead, Have Jeff. Haven't heard from Gilbert. Hey, yeah. Gilbert. Yeah. Um, Howard, I was. I, I love when Jimmy Kimmel sits in on the show. No, I mean, I think it would be hilarious if you could get him in. Kimmel, Kimmel. Either be. I think it would be hilarious if you could get him in before your trip, because you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before i mean because after italy you're not going to be on on the air unless you do a surprise show so i was just wondering right. if you're going to get it in hmm. maybe he you and know, jimmy will be talking you know you never know maybe before i don't know the best thing. <laughs> you know i realized yesterday my wife accused me of not she goes we're going to get to italy will you look over the itinerary to see what it is we're planning on doing to see if you have interest in doing it. Why are you leaving this all up to me? Why don't you fantasize about what you would like to do in Italy? Okay. 
I want, I want, fantasize. First of all, fantasize. Yeah, yeah. So, so first of all, the, the phone call is completely fake because it's a setup yeah. because, yes, like I said yesterday, when he said he made that edict, you know that it becomes more of a subject when he says that type of stuff. Yes. So this <laughs> fake phone call sets this up. And then the, but the fantasized thing is insane. Insane. The, 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 the itinerary, the, him using the word itinerary made me mental. It literally made me insane. I'm like, you don't know what the word means. No, you're an imbecile. No, you you, you have no idea what that it, what, what what that entails, and you're not making an itinerary in a country you've never been to before. This is not happening. No, and and he made up about Beth talking to him because he used the word that it, it said fantasized to him. That no no no, it doesn't use that type of terminology. He does. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if I have it in the clip or not, but I think he uses it again. So let's. Yes, he does. See. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Cause, cause why would he use this word so much today? It's kind of weird. Let me go to the next clip. He's an idiot. Stuff. She goes, well, Hey, no, seriously, why are you not taking an interest? And even my psychiatrist said that to me. Let He's me like, say. why are you not having fantasies about what you're going to do in Italy? And where, you know, so, so your wife said, why aren't you fantasizing mm -hmm. about what you're going to do in Italy? And then your shrink set shockingly says the That's exact same thing. thing to you. Sure. Why do you That's need to realistic. have fantasies about a trip you're going on in like two and a half weeks or three weeks? Mm. Like what? It's so weird to me. It's so this whole conversation mm. is so mm. bizarre at this point. It has gone from, oh my God, I so don't want to go to like this realm of absurdity that I, I can't even imagine any of us who have taken a trip anywhere. Yes. A, don't even talk about it until like we're on it and do a photo thing and then come back and talk a little bit about it. But we don't, there's no neuroses associated no. with going somewhere. I so, mean, yeah, I mean, let's put this into real terms. I knew when I was flying out to Vegas, I was going to be driving a 29 year old car back to Florida. Yes. Right. But I also, what I did is I just, I made a map. And I figured out where I was going to go and I figured out where my stops could be and where gas would be. But that was basically, you know, it was just planning it out. I didn't fantasize about going to the Grand Canyon. I didn't fantasize about fantasize driving. Though. I didn't fantasize about driving through New Mexico. I, I, I planned, I, I planned things out and okay. And then what do I need to do? All right. And then I did those things. This, this, this conversation is friggin' insane. I mean, it, it is actually means indulge in daydreaming about yes. something you desire. I mean, when I went when I, when I went to uh, Sicily, you know, I worked. I I worked. I made sure I worked on my vocabulary very well, so speaking the Italian. And uh, you know, I wasn't fantasizing about it. I was preparing no for it. About vacation, it's just not. Yeah, he's an idiot. Looking forward to, uh, excited, yeah. appreciative. Fantasize isn't really fantasizing. It's it's kind of uh, insane. All right. Oh wait, uh, Mr. Dangles. Oh my God, put that up. Put Mr. Dangles on. Help me. Which one? It's the last, got, the got, newest comment. <laughs> the clerk said, "Where do you fantasize about drinking <laughs> in a vagina?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, run. nobody uses that word. No, it's not a word in in the lexicon of of trip going. I mean, it's just stupidity, really. At this point, in daily life, you don't use it. It drives me absolutely insane. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? I'm, I'm jumping all over the place right now. And just <laughs> I'm going to start the Italy blather clip again. All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, eventually. Sooner or later. Uh, let's try again. She goes, well, hey, no, seriously, why are you not taking an interest? And even my psychiatrist said that to me. He's like, why are you not having fantasies about what you're going to do in Italy? And, where, you know, why are you not getting excited about it and participating uh, in the itinerary? So I looked at the itinerary and it was fine. But the reason fine. I'm not even. Yeah, I mean, it was great. It's like, <laughs> like we're going to see Michelangelo's David, which, OK. And then we're going to see the museum. You're traveling oh, all not... that way to see a guy's dick. Okay. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. He's my hero, that guy. Um, <laughs> now, here I am talking about Italy, and I don't want to. My Ooh. wife's really, my wife's afraid. That she said, please don't, don't talk negatively about Italy. And I'm not. I'm not being negative. It's just, 
I, I looked at the itinerary. There's a, there's sort of an outing on a boat, and there's the, this and that. And I went, that that seems like fun to me. I mean, you know. Now, you think what they're doing is, I don't think they're going to. I know that Bring Back Jackie thought they were going to Capri or something. No, but it's I north. Think if they're going to be, like, in Florence, they're either going to go to Cinque Terre mm -hmm. or they'll go to Lake Como because they're, they're not going they're not going they, south. No, they're definitely going to Lake Como. If they're doing the boat thing, it's Lake Como. I mean, it's one. No, Cinque Terre, Cinque Terre, if you're not hiking it, you're boating it. That's it. Yeah, I understand that. But, you know, Lake Como, though, is a, that's a lot of celebrities there. And that's kind of where he'd want to be. You know what I mean? I know. I just don't know. See here. This is this is this is Cinque Terre for all of you who. Yeah, Cinque Terre I've never is very myself, nice. Just so you know, it's but it's a series of little islands um that you can hike them five grounds okay okay this is, you can hike to all of them if you want to but the preferred way and the you know lazy white man way is to boat it right so this is that's on the coast and they're going to be in florence right let me see keep going there's genoa and then the uh, and Pisa around there. There's Pisa. There's Florence. See, so I'm kind of because they're only going to be away like not even two weeks. I think it's a only week. Like it's one week. You're right. There's no way they're going to Como. There's, well, there's my too thought far is that they're going right to the right to the ocean this way. Yeah, yeah. Going that to makes sense because Como is real far north. It's, yeah, we're we're um. It's by it's yeah. north of Milan, and so yeah. we're right here, somewhere in here. Yeah, it's just north of Milan, yeah. so there's no way they're going there. No way. That'd be like an Two and you can drive it, and they're not going to drive it. No, no, it's like a two-hour drive. That's my thought. Sticking with it. All right, let's move on. Um. Oh, it really bothered. We're still there. It seems fine. I don't know what, but you want to know my real fantasy, and maybe I should talk to my wife about it. Not, not you, Robin. But you just, <laughs> you just bring it out of me. But uh, my real <laughs> fantasy is I like to draw and sketch. Yeah. So I would like to just sort of walk around. And take photographs of some of the old architecture in Italy and the landscape. And then, like, maybe sit with my sketchbook somewhere and sketch a little. Some I of was these thinking about it today better. and I said, he likes oh, you different, about this really? you know, like, contrast. You know, <laughs> contrast. Italy is old. Those yeah. buildings are crumbling. Yeah, I like They're, that. They have a story yes. that's, that's beautiful. Right. And and you would love that. Yes, you should have time to just sit somewhere what? and draw. Who is he? Churchill? Was he going into like a he's Picasso now? now. And, he, he's Rembrandt. He's Rembrandt. Yep. <laughs> Freaking Rembrandt. <laughs> he, can't, he can't really paint. Everybody knows that. He'd have he can't to draw either. Draw either. He'd have to sit there with his like little mirror reflection thing and have the picture there. No, and no, no, wait. You can bring you can bring your computer and run through Photoshop nope. and then make make it look like a painting. You uh, can do it on your the, phone these days. Yeah, it's true too. But you know the thing is, they're there for like a week. You don't have time to there sit no, there and draw really something. Partly, so there's no time. There's just no, no time. time. I mean, no you time. can really spend the entirety of your week just in Florence if you wanted to. You know, it's just it's so rich with with history. He just wants to seem deep. That's how it is. He does want to seem deep, but it doesn't work. It just he's like that douchebag at the at the at the, in Central Park that's seeing there sketching oh, to get people's oh, attention. Dear Lord, like oh, that's new and different because nobody's ever ever sketched. Dude, that's that's what he's trying to do. He's, he's trying to be the, the, the oh every so single deep, sketch is sketching. Exactly. It's like people posting their pictures of like the Empire State Building. Oh, that's new and different. Nobody's ever Never seen that before. Nope. Taking yep. a photo of the, of the yeah, that, 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 that's been around forever. These, you know, well, you an did acoustic guitar guy. Something. You did it from like this way up. Wow. Cool. Cool. You know, I used to be really deep. I would go to cafes with an etch a sketch and I would try and to <laughs> do a face and then leave it on the. Yeah, do the face. No, 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 no. I, I would go up to a girl and go, Look, you broke my heart. And then I would shake it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow! That was uh, I, wait. I, I like McKine's comment. What? He's a real Vincent Van Homo. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin says he isn't going on the trip. Ray will die. He'll catch COVID. Something will happen. He can call it off. You know what? 
it'll be interesting to see. It, at this uh, point, honestly, who cares at this point? No, I, no, I am no. so like checked out of this. But listen, whatever it is, it's going to be a misery for Beth, and she'll come I back with like, the first show back where he talks about it. He'd probably wait till the second. What do you do? But yeah, who cares? Well, I know. Honestly, there's a bigger there's a bigger show to be had in why he didn't go, and then the 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 tension that it created. Oh, I, I look forward to that, but we won't know. Those that are he way didn't. better than. Uh, oh, oh, we went. We, we had fun. We don't know that he didn't go. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. how would we know? Well, I think it'll get out. Don't you think? From who? Exactly. Who? From who? Huh? He his staff wouldn't even. Oh, well, you know. you think if this doesn't work out, they're not gonna they're just gonna keep it under wraps? Let's just be radio silent for a week. Who the thing it? is, oh, dude, he knows radio material. He knows it. That that would be like material for like Wait, a year and a half. But he's going. Yeah, here's the thing, though. The only thing is that he's going during the Rube time of year. So there could be Rube Americans there that would recognize and take a picto of him. So there there could be that because he's not going when the smart people go. He's going when the idiots go. Yeah. When yeah, smart single... people don't go in, in July. It's basically Wolfie on his cruise times a thousand. I mean, it's yes. just, this is all the cruise ships, everybody. <gasps> Oh, it's gonna be so horrible. I'm looking forward to it. I can't I mean, wait. Look, it's it's leaning tower of Pelican. So, Robin, uh, of course, you know, lets out that he has a guide for this whole thing. So, why is he complaining? Here we go. Oh, my God. You know, I, I'm a very simple man. I, I don't need a lot. I mean, I don't know that the group, like Jimmy, likes to draw. So, maybe he'll want to <laughs> draw. I don't know that he will, though. You know, I, and again, I don't want to, I don't want to dictate. What we do, you know, but it's you time for me. Find you, you have a guide. You could say, "What you is the most picturesque street?" Mm. Or is there a little place you know somebody's taking them around everywhere? Way oh, absolutely, get out of town. <laughs> that's you know, <laughs> farm country. Get out of town. Yeah, like, farm look country. Look at what, what yeah. you know, Italian barns look like, as opposed well, the to the barns, barns and so forth. Look like the it, barns in Italy, as opposed. I, I, when she, when, she, when she said that that statement. I literally, I just stopped and I stared. I stared at, at, at my radio, at my phone because it has a radio on it. I'm staring at it, going, "What type of moron is this? What, what, what barns? I, 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 I drove around the entire country, so I didn't see a barn. <laughs> there are no barns. I mean, there, aren't, there might be barns, but the, 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 yeah. Italy's not known for barns. And not known for barns, not, especially in Florence. They're not no barns. They're not known for barns." <laughs> Insane. Wait, where was that one thing where the cow kicked over the the lantern and the barn Chicago. caught fire and the whole no, Chicago, the whole, and it was a hot time in the old time tonight. It? <laughs> it was Chicago. It was Chicago, Chicago. fire. Uh, Miss, uh, what the? I can't remember the lady. Yeah, question for the both of you. Yes. Would how dramatically different would it be if Jennifer Aniston was going on this trip too? Oh, he'd be there already. Oh, he'd like already he would be, be like he'd be waiting. I mean, Beth got to ask her herself that question. I mean, if freaking uh, John Hamm or uh, Ooh. Jennifer Aniston or Ooh. one of these other nicks he hangs out with was going to go there too, man, he wouldn't shut the f up about it. No, he would not. He, no, but he'd have he, to. He, That's different. He'd fly there a week early. Have to. Yeah. But if it was, if it was the Aniston peoples and whatever, he'd have to shut up because you know they have like that gag order. Nobody. Yeah, but there would be. The enthusiasm would be ridiculous. So here's just so you can see. Here's Jimmy Kimmel quick sketch. Oh yeah, that's really great. That's that's what the hell is this? That's, I don't know. Just a Jimmy Kimmel quick sketch. This is something wow. he was drawing while he was watching okay. some, uh, on TV or some shit like this. That's a lot of pasta. Making pasta, some sauce. Sure, 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 sure. There you go. That's Jimmy. Well, anyway, I was just trying to show you. Didn't that Oprah just like she just went to the hospital like 24 hours yeah. ago? Yeah, she was vomiting and pooping at the same time. There you go. Cool. Oh yeah, he's got he's that. He's using the same tomatoes I use. Well, anyway, that's his sketches. So, okay. All right. You know what it looks like? It looks like that kid who was really good in like fifth grade who makes like all those like um, all those sketches of like. Um, Wolverine and shit like that. Yes, that's uh, kind of Jimmy's. Yeah, Jimmy's, it looks like Johnny Quest rejected villains. Jimmy's no artist. Yes, <laughs> he's just throwing it out there. Jimmy's no artist. Um. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh. Okay. 
going back to best in the movie. Yes. Ronnie does get pissed off. A lot of off. places. A lot of places that conversation. Yeah. That, was a, that was a very long and interesting conversation. Oh, I bypassed completely uh, uh, the whole Ronnie thing. Ronnie, you Oh, seen God. That was painful. It was painful. That's where the Perlman thing came in. And it was just. Oh, yeah, it was God. painful. I just. I, you know, I mean, and 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 it was and it was brought up in the in the thread, and it's true. This is payback. He's punishing him, piling on for calling him out on the lie of meeting Andy Warhol. Literally, that's exactly what this was. Yes, because you know what, Ronnie has had it. Ronnie oh yeah, you can tell. It. But he still gets paid, so therefore he's he paid. Gets- so show yeah, up. Listen, yeah, he's just going to do what he has to do. Um, so yeah, so I bypassed that completely. So that was like a good 40 minutes. Good. Ago. And then we go back to Beth. And- oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, so I didn't even finish my story about, so Beth got offered this movie and I was like, yeah, you got to do it. I'll go to the red carpet. I'll come by, visit you on set and, and, uh, we can have sexual relations in your trailer. Sexual I had all these, and she's like, I can't have sexual relations Fantasies in my trailer. I'm working. I go, yeah, you, you can take five minutes for your husband. Anyway, it was a fantasy, and then she ended up turning it down because... Um, Why? Why? <laughs> Why'd she turn it down? We, she said she had too many lines. She didn't want to sit there and memorize them. And I, I was oh like, yeah, goodness. I don't blame you. Yeah. She we were both absolutely the has no desire to act. <laughs> no, no. It was, it was like, we were <laughs> like, well, I said, well, I'll help you memorize them. We decided we were going to take one line a day and memorize it. Uh, and, I, and she did. I mean, she was really good. And then she put on this... Um, when line. was all of this we happening? Really good. Found out wait, wait, wait. Thursday. Yeah, yeah, it was Thursday. And it, it, when, when did they do all this work? Because it was Thursday during the day. And then what did it you was, send her a script and say, here, we want you for this part? Or do you I, want me to read for this part? Or what is it? She was I, I don't understand this because it, it's yours. It's yours to reject. You don't even have to come in because you're such a professional and you're such a great actress. What will it be? Hello, and Harry. Such, wait, wait, and Hello. such a name. <laughs> it's such a name. Yeah. It's a Beth O. Yeah, Beth O. We were going to take Beth one line a day and memorize it. Uh, we were going to take one line a day and memorize it. So one line yeah, a day? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, and, I, and she did. I mean, she was really good. And then she put on. She was really good. Where was she really what? good? This, um, what? Very funny voice for the character that I thought was great. What? So, but she turned it down. So. Huh? This is how a story goes in Howard Stern's world. Filthy, filthy Pelican, and this is absolutely correct. The cadence is so obvious when he lies. He stutters a lot when he lies, though, too. Yes, he does. That's his tell. That is That's always his tell. his tell. But this is such a stupid story. I I will, I'll leave it. a lie. No, it doesn't even have to be a lie. I'll even give you that her stupid friend, Allie, I look 10 years older than my age, Wentworth, said to her, hey, I'm doing a new move. Let's go let, play with me here. Okay, I'll play hey, with you. Sure. We're going to we're gonna have a new movie, and it's going to be a ba 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 and Brooke Shields is going to be in it. And, oh, my God, it would be awesome if you wanted to be in it. I would love to have you in it. Now, nothing One. concrete, nothing that says that it's a role. Absolutely, this is your money, your production on the line. You're not going to go with an unknown or some stupid girl who just flaps her friggin' wings around like a psycho bitch uh, to be in your movie. But sure, let's go with that's what it is. I'll send you over the script, which means basically <laughs> she just drops it off to her. And that's that's what happened. Oh, my God. I can't do this. It's too many lines. I can't, remember, I can't remember all six lines. It's too oh much. God. Hello, come on. I don't like it. Too many reading. I'm thinking too much. Ooh, our special tonight is schnapps. <laughs> <sighs> hey, 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 speaking of which, I just got a hot tip here. Yes. On the yes. Actual, uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, oh, more information on this. Go to private chat in a second and pull, pull that up. That's Ooh. where uh, this is where the whole magic was going to happen that she passed on. Passed on. I'm afraid to open it because it know, is a happy hooker. Happy hooker. It's three. pretty safe. Although I'm interested if, if Dennis gets this. Oh my God. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Is this the casting That's couch? That's where the magic yes. is going to happen. That's the magic. The casting couch? Is that what yes, this Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> it had to be a guy to get that joke. Well, <laughs> no, it's like 80% of the people, boys in the chat will recognize that probably. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so then let's move on a little bit and talk about his crazy, mad, new obsession with Willow Smith. Yeah, this is um, uh, this is very odd. This is like, this is up there with um, all the other young actresses and singers that he's had this weird obsession with. It's, she's twenty one. Um, it doesn't matter. She's young enough to be his grandchild, and the it is really disturbing. She recorded when she was it's the end of 15. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I'm obsessed with Willow Smith. And, and the reason it's embarrassing is because I guess uh, like she seems to be somebody I shouldn't like because she's had such a great life. Like she her parents are wealthy and famous actors. She's an extraordinarily good looking kid. And, um, you know, I guess it's the whole Nepo baby thing. You go, well, I don't want to like Willow Smith. I mean, she's already got good stuff. Like, why should she have talent? But nevertheless, I really, I like this song she does called Wait a Minute. I thought it was a new song because it keeps popping up on my feed on Instagram. But evidently, it was it, she put it out a couple of years ago. So, it's so cute because Willow can actually play guitar, play bass, play piano sing um she she's one of those kids and she's an absolute nepo baby but oh, yeah. it's so weird when like this music stuff comes up and like chaka khan will say oh my god you're amazing and it's just all these like random big ass jill scott Wait, you know? howard mean, said something that uh, i thought was interesting he said it keeps popping up on my instagram feed yeah. Does that mean that means he's on Instagram? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, he's admitted that he. Yes, he's, he's, on, he's got. He's is it, he's talking about the Howard Stern account, or you, you think no. he's got his account? Like his, his private account. His private account. Ah, okay. So I don't know necessarily how it would pop so, up on your Instagram feed unless you follow her, or is like you know. Yeah, I think he does. I mean, it's just what was um what was that girl from Stranger Things um. One that married Bon Jovi's son, um, Miley Bobby Brown, or whatever her name is. Yeah, uh, uh, Miley Bobby Brown. Miley Bobby Brown. It's the Millie, same kind Millie, of weird. Miley, Millie. Yeah, it's a weird, same kind of weird obsession. I mean, it's 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 not normal for a seven year old to. Yeah, no. No, it just isn't. Normal. This is just kind of weird. I mean, I mean, it's strange. Does Does Howard know that his daughter is playing guitar on the interweb? No, it's, it's kind of weird that he's get, he's throwing massive compliments to. Will Smith's kid. Well, I could guarantee of the 450 like, subscribers she has, Howard isn't one of them. Yeah, Howard isn't one of them. No, Howard is definitely not one of them. Unless he goes under an assumed name. We should look that he up. He has to. I mean, if he's saying it, something keeps popping up on his feed, I mean, he's he has he's actively there's using no that way. app. There's no way he follows Emily. There's just no way. That's what I meant. Yeah, there's no way he follows Emily. This is no way. No no, way. I mean, but honestly, who would? Who would? 450 uh, people that are bored. Most of them on our site. <laughs> so, so they start talking. I, I bet he forgot her name. I bet he yeah. thinks her name is direct deposit. <laughs> we went into a new and exciting bit and um, something that's kind of new and unusual for radio. Oh. And that would be news flubs. Oh, Jesus. And so they brought everybody in and everybody had their package Panel. of, you know, what they thought were like the best news flubs of the season i don't know why this is still time we needed Kill to time have yeah so it was insane um and you'll be pleased to know i skipped most of it but oh, one, of them, on. the, it one was horrible. of the fluffs blub flubbers was sue simmons which is so old from you know channel four news nbc news channel four in new york and they were talking about seeing Sue at the Joan Rivers funeral. And this conversation was. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah. Working with him at the time. I saw her at Joan Rivers uh, funeral. Oh, you did? Around. Yeah. 
The one where I did the eulogy? She yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I I, what, you think she had five funerals? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even know you were at Joan Rivers' funeral. Were you there? I was at Joan Rivers' funeral. I saw you do that live. The only one I remember, <laughs> I looked out in the audience and I saw Trump sitting there and he was cracking up at everything I said, so. Really? We never knew that Robin was there. No. We did. No, we didn't. We did never. We? I no, mean, no. Okay. They I never mean, said enough, on but, I mean, I didn't know. I, yeah, I, I feel like I knew that. I feel like I really do feel like we knew that. And it might have been just been said in passing, but it was one of those things that clearly he didn't remember. But I, I, mean, oh, I know this. I know this to be true because I remember seeing pictures of her coming in at the okay. funeral. OK, I'm pretty positive of that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'll just do a quick. I'll just do a quick search. The, the, out there on the interwebs. Joan Rivers funeral. Um, yeah. Okay. Here, I was positive. Yeah. See. Oof. Joan Rivers funeral draws celeb-studded crowd, and there's. Rob was there. there. And yeah. That's where's the celebrities? I don't. I don't know. I'm still looking. <laughs> I don't see any celebrities yet. Let's see. Let's see some of the. I don't know who she's kissing there. Oh my! She. I have an engulfing. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know who she's swarming right there. <laughs> Damn, Deborah Norville. That's Deborah Norville. Deborah Norville. Yes, it is. Oh my god! Yes, it is. And then, uh, yeah. yeah, here she is getting out with Fluff Fluff Flow High. So yeah, so yeah, that's what you got. Wow. But he didn't know wow. that because, you know, he had to come in through the special separate yes. entrance way for the superstars. Yes. And so, yeah, like that. Just trying to see if there's any other ones of her. Oh, so cute. See? See the dress she wore to the funeral? Uh, she's one of the poors. Dress she wore to the funeral is the same one as the dress... Um, that she has on here, the same dress. Oh, yeah, it did look familiar. Which, which, which other event is People this? can't see it, just so you know. I can't see anything. Oh, holy shit! I didn't even realize I didn't have you guys on. Sorry. Uh, Robin Quivers, uh, the girls' night out committee for healing bridges aid women. See, so here, here she is in this yep. dress. Yep. The exact same dress. Uh, it's from, probably the one dress that fits. It's the one dress. It's yeah. one dress that fits. It's, it's the one dress. That's all we get. So yeah, that was her. At it's the like one dress. Fashion dress by Circus Vargas. <laughs> <laughs> Omar the tent maker. Yeah, but yes, yes. Phil gives a shit about these people. All right. Hey, so, hey, okay. don't, don't ruin that. We're going to use that for the pachydermy later on. <laughs> Anywho. It's not that yeah, much. Like cover. Oh, what's this picture? Oof. Uh... Oh, with Whoopi Goldberg at the Oof. following the funeral for Joan Rivers. Oof. Cool. Ooh. Who's that on the left side? That's a very ugly woman. I don't know. Oh, really? You sure it's a woman? Is that you where sure you draw the woman? line? Look at that picture. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that picture's from the uh, from the service. All right, let's move on. Is that better, oh, Louie? Yes. Yeah, just flaw flaw. Uh, 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 Gary goes to the opening of a paper bag. You know that. Yeah, All right. yeah, then, then they get into a very deep discussion about uh, electricity in Italy. Oh, this is insane! Because they just don't quite know. The morons. How how electric works, or oh, phones for that matter. When you when it comes down to it, um, yeah, this was stupidity at its finest. Here we go. Yes. Hey, Howard, do you know what kind of elect what kind of electricity do you dudes have over here? Huh? <laughs> Your pizza's good, but don't, your electricity sucks. Don't we use alternating current and they use direct current? Is that oh, what you mean? Yes. What? He, he, he says yes. Idiot. He says yes. Don't. Idiot. And, Wait, stop, stop. Another idiot says yes. That yes, yes. Okay, so neither one of them understand the difference between direct current and alternating current. They have yes, absolutely no enough. idea what that is. They, they, they know it's a band, silly. ACDC, yeah, yes. Uh, I mean... I am, I am I am flabbergasted of, of the level of stupidity that is on this show, uh, especially after, for like a bunch of rich people are supposed to be well traveled. They're not. 
They're not. It's like uh, one if by land, two if by sea. Come on, man. It has nothing to do with being in Europe or being in America. It's just a different way of power is delivered. And you don't do you use, Nobody well, the uses, world basically uses 220. No, nobody yeah, uses yeah. No and one uses one. DC. All right. Um, when when uh, Edison Edison wanted DC uh, DC I uh, know Edison wanted AC, um, but um, what's Tesla? his name? Um, Tesla? Tesla wanted no. to use DC. The problem with DC is that you can't transmit it over long distances because it's direct current. It's it's a singular current. You have to have stick transformers close by to keep it going. Alternating current can be sent over long long distances because of that but it's also more dangerous dc is not as dangerous as ac like all your little uh battery power things are dc so you don't you know small batteries you don't get hurt by them exactly and but then like delivery the wall socket right. is ac and that will kill you and europe not uses italy. 220 not in italy stupid not in italy. but in italy they use 220 instead of 110 because it's not stepped down. We actually step it down to 110 in America. And that's why you need an adapter. Otherwise, if you bring your American thing over there, it will blow up. Oh, it's the wrong way well, around. Well, not, not so much oh, anymore. Yeah, computers, I had it backwards. I'm sorry. Phones, they all span the more, gamut. Tesla's grandfather of AC. You have it backwards. Tesla. I, I had it backwards. I'm sorry. I just, it's I'm a little. Oh, upset. whatever. Just, oh, well, listen. What do we think we are? Neil, Neil Tyson DeGrasse? Come but on. I, all I know is that it's 220 over there because they don't step it down like we do here. We step down at our house. It comes 220 in and it gets stepped broken and then it goes 110. Which is such a weird thing when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Like, why did we do that? Mm -hmm. uh, for safety, because 220 is what your dryer runs on. Your mm -hmm. If you have an electric stove, that's what it runs on is 220. Yes. 220 is is pretty dangerous. Uh, I mean, it, it if 110 will shock you, 220 will fry you. Yeah, blow you across the room. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I got no eyebrows. All right, let's continue with this conversation because it's, it's stupidity at its finest. Electricity sucks. <laughs> Don't we use alternating current and they use direct current? Is that mm -hmm. the reason? Yes. Like Yes. And you know you have to get a different plan on your phone, right? Otherwise, you're going to get charged like crap. Listen to this idiot. You have to get a different plan on your phone. Wow. And now he's telling the half a billionaire, you're going to have to get a different plan on your phone because they're going to charge you up the ass. And let's talk about this in a second. Hang on. What? You have to get the oh, overseas yeah, true anymore. Yes, it is. It's, not yeah. true it's totally. It's 100 percent true. I just went to Porsche just, last just, year. You just let the phone know that you're going to be out of the country and roaming, and it just adjusts for you. You don't have to make any stuff. That's right, but you got to let them know. No, you don't. Got to be some. You don't. Yeah. Jesus wept. All right. So. Sounds great. Because I got to deal with you. You got to deal with what? That was them, not me. I'm going. I'm. I'm going overseas. Yeah. I'm going with blistered now. He doesn't want to go. Yeah. <laughs> what? He doesn't want to go. He's going to France with Blit. Wow. He Every trip France to France. Is beautiful. Wow. Okay. Okay. There's so much First, packed into that minute that I had to send the whole thing out to you guys. Okay? It, it, there's so much there that it's 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 almost it's almost mind numbing. First of all, okay. I I have T-Mobile, which is uh, you know was par it's partially owned by Deutsche Deutsche Telecom. I went to Sicily. I didn't have any weird charges. It, it worked perfectly fine. It says, what? welcome to Sicily. Yes. It, it to worked me, perfectly fine. I made phone calls, used data. Just I didn't get any weird charges. No. Same. And and most of the time, as we all know, all you have to do is go on Wi-Fi calling, and that's it. And then yeah. you, you're on Wi-Fi, and it's no big deal. Yeah, but I'm like, okay, so that that is – and plus the other thing is Howard – you're right, half billionaire, billionaire, whatever – I mean, you know, I, I don't know if iPhones have du double SIM. I have no idea if they if your phone has a double I SIM. Have, I don't even have a SIM card. I don't think. Right. So then you could have a transfer to have a European SIM. You just pay for that week, whatever to have the SIM. Who who, who does that anymore? That's like nobody does. But I've I mean, done since like the nineties, honestly, like who does that? I, 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 this whole conversation with Ridiculous. the phones is insane. But then the <laughs> other part, the other part that's I I, I got to get this out. The other thing is JD going to France. I hope he we gets assaulted by migrant uh, migrants. I swear to God, I hope they go to some place in Paris and they get attacked. About, I, I really do. I pray for this. Talk about this, can we talk about the fact that JD is going for free 
And I don't know where Jonathan Blick gets his money or is this something that somehow magically they got the show to pay for because it's going to be a 30 second bit that they'll put on the Stern programming thing because December pay for in, in December <laughs> next year next year June. January of next year we'll hear about it giggles. but but like the like the ride down and the river raft like the and, and as if JD deserves any nicety from anybody Mm-mm. and and the world laughs at JD nobody laughs with him they laugh at him because he's such a horrific disgusting panty sniffing dog licking subhuman and I can't even imagine why in the world anybody would pay for him to go anywhere. Honestly, you know why? So when the terrorists attack you, you just throw him into them and run. <laughs> <laughs> He's sacrificial. He's sacrificial. He just Take him. Can you imagine? I mean, it's really <laughs> ridiculous to me. I just uh, uh, could, wait. Could you imagine him over in France with that with the, that stammering, moronic uh, inability to do anything with the weird eyes and the six chins oh my god the the native is going to be horrified think about the fact that that jonathan blit will spend really good money on amazing meals in paris for this neanderthal who literally almost probably can't appreciate uh big mac he remember he no he's filet fish which is disgusting He's yeah. gonna he's gonna do the the rookie move. Oh, Royal with cheese. <laughs> yeah, exactly what's gonna happen. Um, you, is, you know what? You know what just done on this? Ben, yes, you were exactly right. How is it that they're going to Paris soon when the Olympics are gonna be there? Oh god. How expensive, yeah. how expensive it is to stay there currently. Maybe how- it's not Paris, maybe they're sending them some other r- rural part of France. <laughs> France adjacent. No, that's what. No, like, let's listen to a little quick. Hey, I'm, I'm, on, I'm, I'm going overseas. <laughs> yeah, I'm going sound with blistered Blitz. now. He doesn't want to go. Yeah, He's so angry. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. He's going to France with Blit. Wow. Wow. Every trip France to France. Is beautiful. Wow. Uh, France is beautiful. It didn't say Paris. It said France. It could be anywhere in France. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me, let me, let me. Sorry. Hey. Yeah. What's no, the no. matter, JD? You, Sounds great. Because I, I got to deal with, with you. You got to deal with what? I'm going. I'm. I'm going overseas. <laughs> yeah. You I'm sound with blistered Blitz. now. He doesn't want to go. Am. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't want to go. He's going to France with Blit. Wow. Every trip France to France. Is beautiful. All right. Maybe not Paris. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. France is not that small. I mean, they're going to be like, going to the South of France. France. they'll be in Kazakhstan. You can't go to Paris in less than a week either. That's like a ridiculous trip, too. That's like a huge. You might be going to the South of France. I mean, there is stuff in the South of France. Where are you going to go? Not JD. Go to Monaco for a day, Con for a day. That's so boring. Nobody, nobody yeah, can... I'm, well, I mean. Nobody wants to go there. Marseille. You literally could go from, from Barcelona, fly, uh, drive around the, the coast of France and be in Pisa literally in like a day. I mean, that's yeah, I know, I know, but I'm like, I'm trying to figure this out because they're not going to. Uh, we're all frozen. We're not going to uh, go to. Oh my God, I can't move. <laughs> it's your weather. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Was it in we... time? Uh oh. Sure. sure. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so they, yeah. That is so weird. The, the um, Riley puppet sabotaging you. I think so. L- look here. Look here. Oh, look here. I, I, I'm, I'm, I got to take over for this because this is, <laughs> this, this conversation is absolutely nonsensical. <laughs> Khan just you know, uh, Khan just uh, just came down and said, you know, uh, Riley, <laughs> you, this is utter and absolute bullshit. Oh, the Riley. <laughs> um, okay. Do you, do you guys remember um, in Silence of the Lambs when? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm really proud. Exactly blue. Oh, you guys remember Silence of the Lambs when that dude throws yeah. his man fluid on uh, on Caris? What? What? You remember, you remember when she goes to visit Hannibal for the first time? And the next we, door. Where are, where are no, we? Just listen, listen to this. What movie? Then, like, remember the dude had jerked off and then finished his hand and threw it on on Jody Foster. Oh, we're in. We're in Size of Lambs. I so guarantee we're... you that JG's gonna do that with the Mona Lisa. 
I'm, I'm going to come out and come right back in. <laughs> silly when we freeze i don't know why that made me laugh all right i'm gonna wait for dennis before i do the uh horrific gilbert impression i only have one two three i only have four more clips so we're almost done so jg's gonna give the mona lisa spider-man okay okay i am so glad that i didn't catch what you were saying the first time around just so you know what's he gonna do just like that to the mona lisa i guarantee you It'd be just like Science of the Lambs. With all the little Japanese tourists in front of him. Just yes. <laughs> oh, head. man, those Japanese tourists at the at the Louvre are just the worst, man. The You know what? I have to tell you. I uh, One time, one time, as in Paris, I'm on business and uh, went to the Louvre. And I was by myself. And this was before even, um, what was that book? The Da Vinci Code. So people were yeah, not yeah, yeah. quite as fascinated. And you could literally, I mean, they didn't even have the ropes around the Mona Lisa. You could literally just like go right up to it. You could like actually, I mean, not up to it, up to it. They had that little rope, but not yeah, they like have the big barricade. Did they have the, the plexiglass in front of it? They did. They always had the plexiglass. But yeah, you, the plexiglass. The thing you've never realized about the Mona Lisa is that it's literally this big. Yeah, it's, like, it's not all so these big. All are like gathered all around it. And it's like the tiniest, tiniest thing. And Bro, that- I, I told you, like I, it was so bad that like I just gave up because there was just like a thousand Asian people in front of me. So you, you can take an elevator, go down one floor, and the Venus de Milo is like right there. Yeah. And when I when, it went, and when I went down there, there's nobody on that floor. I'm like, nobody oh, did. this is awesome. Because they also awesome. and, and then the elevator, like, then the ahead. elevator opened up, and like a thousand eight old Asian women come out, and I'm like, ah, oh, cameras so, and a little selfie stick. So I get to the Venus de Milo, and like they give me like the Heisman Trophy, and like just <laughs> shove me out of the way. Hi, Riley. Yeah, yeah. I, I had it. I had it. this nonsense. This is utter absolute bullshit. I'm trying to save like the planet, and we're sitting here talking about a mushmouth going to France and, and like you know getting thrown to the uh uh <laughs> <laughs> migrants there as a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> funny when you were frozen i, I couldn't stop chuckling <laughs> it's just uh, so uh yeah you know the, 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 you know the, this 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 golden this golden jew just totally like <laughs> just spending all that money while i'm trying to eat like you know a warm pork chop yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you riley thank you thank you for popping thank, thank, thank you very much you know remember to buy a symbol <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, you're so white compared to the Riley Puppet. <laughs> I would never think Dennis lives in Florida. He's so white. Well, I remember I've 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 been I've been I've been dealing with things and driving across the country. Oh, you don't, we laugh you don't go out in the too. sun when you're driving straight across the country for a week. We laugh when I see you too. I, I say you're practically translucent to your face. I'm not though. I know you're not. You're not. You're not. <laughs> You're not. Um, okay, so then comes the knock knock, and of course it's Gilbert Gottfried. Horrible impression. Oh. Just just horrible. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, give me a second. All right. Hold on one more minute. Fuck. That's definitely Gilbert Gottfried. What up, huh? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, it's great to be here. Well, ah, 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 ah. Horrible. Just horrible. Yeah, that, I mean, that is like somebody that's never heard Riley Martin, I mean, not heard <laughs> Gilbert ever talk. Like, you've never heard Gilbert do anything, You and you're doing an impression of an impression. Well, number one, it's sacrilegious, because here's yeah, a guy he didn't have on the show for, like, almost 10 years, yes. maybe more, right? Mm-hmm. But Yeah, but I mean, famously, more. Gary told him that we're not going to use you anymore. No, we're not. No, no more... No more, there are no more comedians. We're not having comedians anymore. You're not really yeah. doing commercials anymore for comedians. No more, no comedians anymore. We're not doing comedians. So that was it. And 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 Gilbert was very uh, forthright about it on his uh, podcast and things like that. So yeah, they they didn't want him. Nope. And but now that he's dead, I guess enough time has gone by. Time to exploit. That it's time to exploit. That's exactly right. It's, every, it's the way this show works, man. Yes. Whatever, whatever has been dead for at least a couple of years, they start talking about. 
His daughter should do a cease and desist. Yeah. <laughs> she really should. It was a restraining order on, on her own father. Yes. As Eddie G said in the, the uh, forum. So for the last 10 years of Gilbert's life, he did no appearances on the Howard Stern show, but a puppet depicting a dead Gilbert gets on. Yes, of course. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. So adroitly uh, for the next clip, Dennis happened to take note of the fact that Eddie, caller Eddie, um, mm. was the caller from the other day who suggested a game and then magically they're able to put together the game for him for today. Mm. Um, and Howard's like amazed that he called back in, but mm. that's really not how it was. Yeah, he got canceled for that. Eddie, you're on. The oh, this is Eddie. Eddie from Texas. What was it you did yesterday? You suggested a game. I think I pulled it together. You wanted to play whether it's two gay guys fucking or a tennis match. Is that right? Of course. Of course. Yeah, you called of it rugby balls or tennis balls, and I'm ready to play. Let's go. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll play a little round with you. I'll give you one question. You got to tell me whether it's tennis or gay porn, okay? All right. All mm, right. Let me see here. And you want a prize. Let me get Wink Martin oh, in here. I didn't know you were calling back today. Boy, you're anxious. Um, no, they called, the, they you, they called me, Howard. Oh, they uh, called you. Yeah, oh, my mm. team, crack team is right on it. Mm. 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 That's really curious. That's very curious. Like, they just had this guy's number laying around, just frigging give him a call for a right. bit. What they were putting doing? together. The, after mm. Howard hung up on him, did they pick up on him then and say, Let's play the game tomorrow. Like, how does that work? I, I don't know how it works because this is very specific. Yeah. It, I mean, you have to find the clips. You have to make, you know, make the game and you have to make the Wink Martindale stuff. And it, 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 there's something very, very wrong here. So Eddie, Eddie's either very much, you know, a, a remote staff member and they call them in or some, or, it's just something not there's something not right here because this is not how radio works or anything any media works. Maybe, maybe the, all they did was go through Howard's history, browsing history. <laughs> well, then they had to do the victory laps, and you know he's very oh, into that. God. And um, and then there was of course the Pat Sajak victory lap. And as I'm listening to it, it was so funny because Cookie in the listening that literally read my mind. I had already pulled it out and I was getting ready to talk about it. So let's hear the clip and yes. then we'll talk about this bullshit. Yesterday I talked about for quite some time about Pat Sajak re uh, retiring and many listeners were offended by my wheel of fortune uh, uh, commentary. As they should. Be. Oh, Ma yeah. Many of you wrote in to defend Pat Sajak and his on air retirement. What? How did they def <laughs> I don't know. I didn't realize I was, I didn't realize it mattered. I don't know. I was just talking about like, gee, what? who cares if he retires? Who the show cares? will be, the, the show's. Who cares if he retires? So he was upset that Pat Sajak had a whole thing and who cares if he retires? But by all means, by all yes. means, be on some stupid show for three seasons and demand a four minute black and white highly edited highly filmed highly um manipulated thing like you going over a bridge like that ever happens like it, like you ever go over a bridge you never go over a bridge you've been over that bridge once in the For last this. 20 years no he went to that stupid jimmy kimmel dinner oh yeah 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 as if he's driving into the city from parts unknown you don't even have to go over a bridge to get in from from uh long island except if you're going over the 59th street bridge or something like that look at that nose Oof. he's like he's smelling shit all the time Oof. Ugh. oh my god mac the knife <laughs> jesus christ look at this oh my god oh this is embarrassing i like how they like framed like robin's barely in the frame yeah yeah they made they made sure of that yeah, yeah. oh yeah i almost see her giant head yeah Wow. That other six head behind them. There's Rodney. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, let's all say goodbye. Such a such a thing to think. I you know, I know we've played this, but the New York State of Mind is in the background of it. I'd love to drop that out and just have the vocal of it so that we could actually play it. He never mm -hmm. does selfies with people. He doesn't do any of that stuff. That's not that would never he doesn't walk on the street. He doesn't no. go near people. 
No. But we we counted the security. We, when we did the breakdown, we counted the security on this. It was crazy. Yeah, but this by like all six means, guys. Yeah, be upset about him, about Pat, Pat Sajak, who's been doing that for 40 years. Well, that's yeah. the video for you for your three season, uh, nine million or sixteen million dollars, whatever it was per season. Yeah, paid a lot. Are they stop watching the show. Or are they going to go find out what the next page uh, Pat Sajak uh, event is? Well, listen to the, these kooky listeners. Sage, Pat Sajak's retirement, Howard, is the end of an era. It is. Why tear down Pat Sajak's farewell remarks? Why? For Why? someone who's been in therapy for so long, it's not working. It's true. Oh, so therapy's going to like make me love Pat Sajak's? No, it's just going to make you not a psychopath. Well, you got to stop. <laughs> no. no. I have nothing against Pat Sajak. Look at, that, do. Look at that neck, I man. I didn't think it was that big a deal. I he, he doesn't think it's that big of a deal for somebody who's been on uh, TV for as long as he has doing the exact same thing for as long as he has. You know what his neck looks like? It reminds what? me of like a xenomorph being hatched. From oh, Disney. yes, very much so. With that like giant right before, Adam's apple. Right before it breaks his skin. Oof. Everything about him is just... Look at that. Oh, my God. Dear I Lord, that, that way, hair bro. helmet. I that know. helmet it's he has all on. All oh, my God. All the security. Hey, Rodney. Look at the security. Look at all the security. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, hot dogs, yeah. You, you have never had a hot dog. And that's when he got the, the those veneers. Yes. Those they big, giant new. veneers. Yeah, look, at him. It's like a ju- look at him. Look at this wrinkled mass of human. Oh, they're all, the child's horrified. <laughs> that, that, I feel like if you let, let it play, there'll be like villagers with torches running behind him. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Look at that. That kid mom. looks scared. Like, what is that, mommy? Mommy, yeah. what is that? I just <laughs> cool. They're filming this, and it's like maybe some of these people peripherally know him, but for sure, yeah, I don't know. They look confused. No, no, no. Like, the, the way it, the way it works is you have a PA release people before he approaches them. That's right. So here they all sitting. Okay, middle of the day. Now don't they forget. Have to sign the release. Security, first. security. This is the middle of the day, my friends. Yes. Okay. On Sixth Avenue. Three rando people who no, make none of this is random. each other, just all sitting there, all just sitting there eating ice cream. No, That's no, no. At first, it was like, go release them. Who okay. eats dessert? Security. I see the security in the background. No security. Ice cream in the middle of the day. Yeah, let's all go out. Let's all and have, ice and have ice cream. Ice cream and sit by the fountain. It's no spontaneous. I've let my dog run in that fountain. I've thrown the ball for Reacher in that fountain. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> hangs out of that fountain. You know who hangs out of that fountain? Homeless people. Homeless people try to bathe in that fountain. That's what goes on there. It's That's a spa. People eating ice cream in the middle of the day. Like dirt. <laughs> and by and, the way. And, and the other thing. Look, outside, security if guys. you go back to those three people. Yeah. If security. you go back to those three people for a second. Sure. Just one second. Just a second. No, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Look at all the space available on that, on that okay. whatever they're saying. Oh, on. How big the, how and they're big just the happy to be sitting next to each other in New York. There's yeah. like literally like twenty feet. Look, there's like twenty feet of space where they could sit. Oh, we and can. Look, they're just we happy to sit there. If we wanted to look. Look at look at that. I mean, there's like Hold that's on. like eighty feet long. It's not you can park a, a Buick. <laughs> in that space, and they just so happen to be sitting t- together. Yeah. Okay. And in New York, sure. and another single human being sitting at that fountain. No, yeah. nobody else. Nobody else is there. What a quick look, look! Look at look at that posture, bro. Now they the po- have to be pre signed off on. How does it okay, work? So the way it works is because you you don't want to time is money. So what you do is you either have three people that you know that already been released, or you 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 have you send a PA or a release coordinator to go up there, and they have to sign the release forms. Prior, then once once that's taken after. care of, because people think, oh, they'll just do an area release. No, everybody has to be released before they're filmed. Everybody, wow. before they're filmed. Yes, wow. before they're filmed. So, AGT spent like real money to make this piece of garbage for him. Yes. For this piece of garbage, uh, they yeah. sent a couple of camera crews in a. Yeah, but still, producer. they spent real money. That's real money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Geez, I mean, come for this piece of garbage security that ru- tanked the guards. show. Every everybody's surrounding is security guards. Just so you know, look at oh, all yeah, the leather jackets beside him. By the way, and also this is like the it was hot as balls outside. Everybody is in short sleeves and sleeveless. Look everybody. at look what this guy's wearing. Everybody's Nosferatu. 
We should support that wear him that wig. Oh, but he's got a stink. I gotta, I gotta, I, I really want to do that one day. Can we do that one day? I want to do what? that. I want to do what? Pruder. I want to Zapruder that stupidness. Sure. That right. That thing on his head. I, I want to just do a, I want to do a nice walkthrough on that and just for I mean, a little amuse bouche, a little amuse bouche. Ooh. Everyone, how you play with the toy. Look at you. <laughs> Energy, Coco Melon. Oh my God, honey, you're gonna catch the toy. Coco Melon, look, I'm better than you. Honey, you're a good hunter. <laughs> All right. Just needed the, a little, little palate cleanser, if you will. The insanity. <laughs> but you know, I'm just thinking though. It was hot, probably probably 85 degrees in New York that day. And he's there with all black with a black leather thing and that thing on his head. He he's has a cool stink. skater boy. There's no he way he doesn't stink. 85 in New York City. He was a skater boy. See, see like, you later, boy. Like Valley 90. 90. Yeah, it's hot. Balls hot. Oh, Balls hot. With that thing on his head. Oh, oh God, he's going to reek. Oh. Oh, oh, gonna... Yeah. Last clip of the night. So... And again, you know, they've been talking about this a lot. I'm getting this weird feeling mm. about the next contract. So mm. you don't have to read anything into it if you don't want to. But this is end of show. Here we go. Sure. Well, when I say my goodbye to you on here, I'm going to do it in a very professional manner with a professional voice and my deepest voice possible. How about getting somebody to read it? <laughs> <laughs> I might, like the whole goodbye to her thing. Hire like a, somebody. Well, you know. Let's get real. I might actually start. I'm afraid if I said goodbye to you, I might actually get emotional and speak from the heart. And I don't want that. I just need a professional announcer. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Let me sound like an android while I read my goodbye to you. <laughs> on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Robin. No, I'll do this one. Robin. And, uh, what, and, you know, we have Skip some other that. hijinks and things that uh, we must get to tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got to uh, tell you uh, Wednesday tomorrow. That's uh, Jelly Roll is going to come in and perform yeah. the fans of Jelly Roll. I am uh, looking forward to talking to him. And, uh, what, and, you know, we have some other hijinks and things that uh, we must get to tomorrow. Hijinks and things. I also want to tell you that. Uh, oh, this is great. This is most important, Robin. Paramount Plus. I'm uh, talking, of course, about one of my favorite television shows, Jeremy Renner's uh, hit series, Mayor of Kingstown. Thank you. So can we discuss now, was there an issue last year, as everybody liked to talk about uh, today? How uh, oh, last, uh, I don't know, a couple of months ago, how you ripped Paramount Plus a new asshole? Yeah. But it, it, it was weird, though. It was, he was, he, he was ripping, he was kind of ripping on him, but he was also promoting it at the same time because it was not a natural conversation. It was very, it was forced. I'm thinking that was a product placement. Of course. It and was. then they, commercial. now they, they've they gone in full war. Paramount plus. What? Today, over the course of the last couple of days, he's done yes. several. Yes. Paramount. Okay. So I know, I know we're all aging out of this whole scenario and whatever. And, you know, I know everybody's kind of curious about the jelly roll. So let me just show him to you. It's, it's Post Malone's fatter and more prison. -y, uh, but he's actually, you know what, though? I've, I've seen him in inter uh, real interviews. He's actually a pretty nice guy. Articulate? He's articulate. He kind of has actually, a Chris Farley yeah, vibe. Great. What? He kind of has a Chris Farley vibe. You know, like the way but he's he actually kind of, he seems pretty nice. He seems pretty pretty nice i don't know anything he's about got, his he music, talks with a twang he's, yeah he's, he's, he's very talking. southern he's gonna make fun of that southern twang oh yeah is he gonna play the ding 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 yeah, he's gonna, he gonna play the ding 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 you know the, there's just the, something the, called bunny xo uh, there you go. um let's see let's see what a bunny Does he live next to daniel carver i don't know he went to prison of uh, course um yeah, he went to jail 40 times for various offenses. Oh, well, Jeez. that's that's great. Yeah. 40 times. In addition to selling drugs, he admitted his own struggles, abuse of substance like cough syrup, Xanax, and cocaine. Um, Wait, that dude did coke? <laughs> Obviously, he stopped Xavier. That's why he blew up. Oh, hello. I present to you. What was he cutting it with? Lard? <laughs> I of course, he's already been on Joe Rogan. Um, yeah, that was a long time ago. Talked in length. He was about cutting it. his cocoa with Krispy Kreme. 
<laughs> uh, he was putting it on top of Sundays. Exactly. I that song saved me for you guys. Um, so if you want to know, country music, I have no idea. It's his best song, honestly. It's country best music, song. and it's um, yeah, I think he peaked with that. I think in 2020. But listen, if he's a good guy, and oh, look, yeah, there's, like there's his, there's oh wow, he's really batting above his uh. He's getting above his well, weight here. I, I don't know what I don't know what that looked like before. You know, that, well, it doesn't matter what it looks like now. Uh, uh, <laughs> he met model Bunny XL following his concert at the Country Saloon in Las Vegas. Although Bunny was in a relationship, the two kept in touch and began dating soon after. Mm-hmm. 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 And they got married in Vegas at the courthouse, of course. Of oh. course. He proposed to her and they got married that night. Wow, that sounds Aww. stable. He has a Isn't podcast. It romantic. Um, all right, there you go. So we'll 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 dive deeper into the 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 thing that is the jelly roll tomorrow. And uh and I'm gonna end the I'm gonna end the show by giving you guys a quiz based on wait, 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 wait. Yeah. The, that the the thing is that read that you cut off, the Paramount Plus read got worse and worse. He literally had to stop oh, in the yeah. middle of it and he and he kept on he couldn't get the words out it was literally the worst live read in the history of radio did you hear seriously the jd could have, what? There was no music in the background for no like music in the background <laughs> and he just horrible. it was like jd was reading it it was painful it, it was one of the worst live reads i've ever heard in my entire life so i'm gonna give you guys a quiz yes. a really quick one okay Okay, so I want you guys to tell me what is the second most popular sexual fetish (laughs) in the United States. I want you to think about it a little bit. I want you to. I'm the one that posted it. Oh, you bastard. You're not allowed to talk about it then. I will give you what the number one one is. I'm not not going to. All you know, delete this from your mind. The number one sexual fetish in America is bondage. Okay. So that is oh, the okay. So number two oh, yeah. is probably step siblings. Okay. So let's see what the uh let's see what the crew Blumpkins. <laughs> Clown porn. <laughs> jelly roll. Stepmom, jelly roll, feed. <laughs> number one is feed. Cost me bag. <laughs> Tossing Monique salad. from Radio Gunk. <laughs> <laughs> ah, someone got it. Ah, okay. You ready? Here we are. Just so you all know, the number two fetish in America is smelling farts. What? No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no. No. Interest in fart no. has reached an all-time high. No. Could join twins. <laughs> yeah, I mean, could join twins would be hotter than that. I mean, come on. bondage ring worldwide searches for passing gas exploded <laughs> by 430% in just the last year. With come sales. on. I, I don't understand what sales means in this vernacular. Uh, jumping 40%. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Being turned on by farts is a sign of olfactophilia. Maybe that's what Robin was talking about. Or being sexually aroused by smells coming from the body. Okay. Well, I drove by a, a, a cattle processing thing in <laughs> Texas, and I guess these people would have been happy then. Ugh, that, yeah, those that are nasty. Is, uh, I, gotta t- I don't know about the Dutch oven. I'm not really sure. I'm not even understanding how that is a... Uh, I, I, I don't, I, you, I, you know I, what a Dutch oven is, right? This. I know exactly what a Dutch oven is. I can't okay. comprehend this. I really can't. I can't even... In my mind, my mind is warped. But no, I can't even comprehend this. And Fabio, not his real name, a 37-year-old straight man from Brazil, told Vice that while he's heterosexual, he's exclusively attracted to men's farts. Oh, I just got a little sick. I, I seriously I, now, now, uh, tell me that Jesus. Left. Now you may tell me that Jesus. I, I bet I could cure that dude. <laughs> <laughs> My farts have been described as death. 
What remember in uh in um Anchorman was like it sm smells like Bigfoot dick. <laughs> this is where we're at now. It smells and like bird hair. Some, <laughs> some loaded marine. diaper with Indian food. <laughs> oh, left you with that just for shits and giggles. And yeah. Oh Jesus. There you go. All oh right. So God. tomorrow, tomorrow oh, we have we can't play the anchor man, the no, the, we're the Black Panther, whatever. Into another. I know we can. I know we can. But that's such a great scene. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna disapprove. What is that? That is quite pungent. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> that's such a great. Was, Guys, we love you. Sixty percent of the time, it works. Well. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at RadioGunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Radio Gunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.